We gotta figure out who took the other ones. Did you take any? No. I don't trust Hank. I don't trust him at all. I could help you try and find whoever this is, but I'm no detective. There is not an ounce of remorse. Uh, I think I took uh, two. You took two? That's it. How many were in there when, when, when they were in there? Twelve-ish. So yeah, we have people, and everything's wired camera-wise, so like, we'll play five on five on Fridays with everyone, and like, if someone gets crossed up real bad, we'll just pull the security footage and post it. <laughs> just embarrassing. So yeah, it's better or worse, but that's just how we operate. I'm gonna pay you rent, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move in. Yeah, I'm next to we have a shower. Um, so it's all you need. Next door is a battery factory that uh, apparently, I think their, their lease is up in the air, so we might, like yeah, even more space. Probably not needed, but also I'm like hey, man, I, want, I feel like I want like a batting cage. Uh, <laughs> you know, knock on wood, you grow you grow even bigger. But yeah, yeah like, this is crazy. What is she doing right now? Editing a surviving bar stool sizzle. Oh, for the new season. Keep up the good yeah. work. Yeah. yeah. Brandon, don't get don't get distracted, but uh should have come to work today. God damn it! Fuck <laughs> really <laughs> hey, Brandon! <laughs> That was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get, Brandon. That's what you get for having uh, the sniffles, bitch. Uh, he's gonna be so out. mad. <laughs> you know, Brandon, he wrestles. He said uh, he's a nice guy. I met him for the first time. He said he he's a wrestler. He could have told me he was coming. I would have I would have come in. Well, you would have been less sick, Brandon. So you can't come in yeah. to do your job. You can come in to meet CM Punk. Brandon's very upset right now. He's upset that he was out sick and CM Punk was here. Yes. What about him? Coming. What makes you think something's coming with Diddy? Would it be so, the feds raiding his houses? Well, you know what's going on. Hey, so, no, so, it's all a cover up. Some bigger's happening that they don't want you to know about. Is that why the bridge thing happened? 100%. I yeah. agree with that. I actually, I thought the bridge thing was a distraction from Diddy. That could be it too. They're yeah. distracted from. You each think other. they're bringing back COVID for for not Joey COVID, B? No, not not COVID. Banks are gonna go down. I, yeah, Jerry thinks banks are gonna be going down by the election. Card? You got cash in your house? I suggest you get cash. I do have some cash. I just house. took my cash from the bank. Well, don't put that on tape, Jerry. Learn it out, learn it out. Jay-Z, yep. Beyonce, yep. Howard Stern. Leonard yep. Fournette. Yeah, he's in it? Video. Yeah, you see that video? Yeah. Leonard Fournette hanging out with Diddy and Jay-Z? Yes, I did, actually. That yeah. was it. Brutal. That probably us, too. Yeah. You hung out with Diddy? No, but I hung out with Leonard Fournette. I met Jay-Z before. I'm probably tied to Oh, yeah, you're probably tied to all of them. I shook Jay-Z's hand before, unfortunately. That's and you are, but no, but you survived the Epstein thing, because he was a buddy what? of yours. <laughs> Old Jeffy? That's what you called him. You think they're going to fucking lock him up? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like he's a bad guy. But other people are going to go down, too, because he's going to rat on everybody. 100%. You think Tupac's still alive? Oh, yeah, there's pictures on TikTok of him. He took his jet to the Caribbean. What if he's visiting Tupac? Tell him to call the hit off. It's a possibility, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt anything these days. What's your idea? Your big idea that you tweeted out? I don't want to talk about Bigger it. Bigger than Uber. You promise you won't put it in anywhere? Think about Uber, right? You're on your phone, you're at a set location. I'm here, reserve the Uber, come pick me up, right? Uber comes, picks you up, drives you where you need to go. There's a fee for that, correct? There's a fee for that, correct? Yeah. Great, okay. I want to start off by saying this. 91% of people who work out Work out alone. My mind's spinning, my mind's spinning. Uber, alone, gym, dangerous. Gym is dangerous. 23,000 people get hurt at a gym every single year. 23,000. It's a lot. lot. I'm gonna save 23,000 lives. Jerry, how you gonna do that? I'll tell you now. Spotter. 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 You go, you hit the app, you scroll through, you pick who's in your area, who wants to spot you at the gym. He spots you. Racks your weights. You know, help you out so you don't tear nothing, yeah. don't get injured. And that's it. Spot. It's not bad. 25 bucks. 20 goes to the app, back to me. Could you imagine a visual of some of these people? <laughs> like, if some juice head hired a guy from Spotter and La Saucy showed up? It's a good idea. All I wanted was just some soup for lunch. Look how much soup there used to be, okay? Look at all that soup. Now come here, look at this. It's gone, and so I went out there and I accused Blutman, which I feel bad about, but he's been talking a lot about soup and being a new fake soup guy, so I accused him. And then Hank happened to be right next to me and said, oh wait, are you looking for your soup? I told Pete he could have some. So Hank gave Pete all my soup. Well, Pete was here last week. There was a bunch of soups in there. We've had them for a couple yeah, weeks. I know, I know. Those are my lunches that I eat every day. Well, I told Pete he could have some. I didn't think he was going to take 12. What? I don't think he took 12. What gave you the right to tell Pete he could have my soup? Because there was 
15 soups in there. That I eat for lunch every day. I was looking forward to having a nice, a nice clam chowder for lunch, and I can't have clam chowder anymore because it's all gone. I never even got to try the loaded baked potato. Hello. Pete. Yeah. How much soup did you take from the fridge? Uh, I think I took uh, two. You took two? That's it? Yeah. How many were in there when, when, when they were in there? Twelve-ish. So where's the rest of the soup, Pete? There's two left, and there are the tomato soups, which nobody likes. Pete, why did you ask Hank if you could have all my soup? I didn't know they were your soups. Did Hank? I was wondering if they were, uh, if they were like part of an ad deal. Did Hank tell you that they and were said, my soups? And he said no. Said that they just got sent. Hank, I was Hank, like, there's so many in there. Do you think it's a coincidence that you started giving away my soup yes. last week, yes. and now yes. all the soup's gone? Yes. Yes. All right, Pete, I don't, I don't blame you. It doesn't sound like you did anything wrong, but I do blame Hank. That's fair. Okay, all right, thank you, Pete. I thought we had an excess of soup. I figured we had so many that by the time, you know, they expired that... What do you mean, we? It's my soup. Right. They were in the I communal had, fridge. I had soup. I had soup, you didn't Why have you soup. Why did you take it home? Because I eat it for lunch every day. You didn't put it in the communal fridge. Donnie told me that could be my soup fridge. It literally says, left over here, free to take home, must clean out every Friday. The fact that you even got through two weeks with them, it's a because blessing. everybody respected my soup fridge, except for you. Did you take any? No. This I'm on the hook for two of Pete's soups, but we gotta figure out who took the other ones. I don't trust Hank. Hank already got caught in lie. He already caught giving away my soup. I don't trust him at all. Max, for obvious reasons. What if Rico just parachutes in here, steals all my soups and leaves? Do you see anyone eating soup? No. He doesn't even like soup. He's a fake soup guy, so he he has no reason to steal soup. Ah, fake soup guy. I haven't adventured into the soup galaxy. Also, you have to like make the soup. You have to like put microwave it. Yeah, I can't do that. You can't microwave things. I microwaved the bowl. I forgot to put water in while I was making oatmeal. I also don't like microwave food, so like it wouldn't be me. I could help you try and find whoever this is, but I'm no detective. We want we want you to get the weight of this nation behind you. Yeah, as we know, PFT loves soup. There's been a heist. And it's it's literally twelve things of soup that are gone. Were they oh. in individual little containers? Yeah. Kate, I, did you take the no. soups? No. Kate. But I think and I you know. love soup. I think I know who took your did soup. Did anybody? They had a large cardboard box with the soups, and they were so excited. Oh, you so two. Saw somebody, <laughs> no. no. Who are you protecting right now? <laughs> it's definitely a woman. Chaps. Yeah, you'd be protecting a woman. Yeah. Oh. Is it Chaps? Oh, is it Chaps? Is it Can Chaps? I call him? He's oh! <laughs> 12 soups! What was the food that you took home on Thursday? Soup. <laughs> How many was soups? Did Hank tell you you could take those soups? It's in the refrigerator that says take home. Chaps is in the clear if there's the, the sign is on the fridge. It was very good and the chicken and wild rice was even better. I know, it's so good. <laughs> Sorry, Chaps. Chaps is the worst person to have this happen. Okay, so yeah. He will, but show, I feel he will show zero remorse. Yeah. Everything about this whole situation, unacceptable. I mean, if you're going to put a bunch of soups in there and it clearly states on the refrigerator that it's for free, do it. And I know people are saying, oh, it's Friday. No, that's not what it says. It says things are gonna be thrown out on Friday. So you gotta pick it up before. If you have potato soup, I'm taking it. If you have corn chowder, I'm fucking taking it. There is not an ounce of remorse. The only thing I wanna clarify, I didn't take 12, I took four, and I would do it again. I know PFT wanted it, but he can go fuck himself. I don't apologize at all. He told me in a text message that he primarily blames Hank. This is exactly like around the world. Is around the world at grade levels? And around the world, do you go to preschool and suck your thumb? What if you miss your kindergarten shot? Like that? I have to go suck my thumb in preschool. You're really sucking it. Alright, opening day. What's more American than opening day? Than cooking hot dogs. So we got a bunch of hot dogs here. We're we'll gonna be cooking them for the act. If I'm screw this up, I'd rather over than undercook hot dogs because nobody likes a frozen hot dog. And we should sell, see how many guys we can have walk in there with a the camera and say like, Mincy, what are you doing today? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Say this. Oh my, well, we can get, we, yeah. What's going on, Mincy? All right, so we're in the kitchen because you know what? It's opening day. And what's more American on opening day? Eating some hot dogs. And we're doing it for the act. What up, Mincy? I need it for Barcelona, Chicago. Did you tell us what you're doing real quick? Come on. Cubs cap on, it's opening day, and what's more the Mary Chicago tradition than uh, hot dogs on opening day? Gosh. Do one more. 
Yeah. You mean do the whole thing again? What are we doing today, Mincy? All right. We're in the kitchen <laughs> on opening day. Go for more American on opening day. And cook it some hot dogs. It's like I'm trying to become a full Chicago resident. I got Chicago hot dog opening day. I got my Cubs stuff on. All right, Mincy, what do we got today? My God, how many stories do I have to do? I am cooking hot dogs for the act. This is opening day. And what's more American on opening day than cooking hot dogs, especially now that I'm a Chicago resident. A Chicago dog is... He's the, perfecting uh, it. Not bad. I mean, a smart ass. I just literally That's did okay. like nine stories. Or kills of X. No, I need I need one more. Uh, what are you doing? This is for PMTV. What are you doing okay. today? I'm embracing my new Chicago residency. I got my Cubs cap on. It's opening day. And what's more American or Chicago on opening day? There's an iPad. I'm cooking up the iPad. iPad. Right, we got like 27 of them. Strategy. I would rather overcook them than undercook them because nobody likes a frozen hot dog. A little charring and kill anyone. One. All right, continuing on with Hank TV here. We're in the kitchen. Uh, Mincy's in here. What's what's going on in here, Mincy? It's opening day. What is more? And I'm a Chicago resident now. Looking for something to there cook we go. this damn hot dog. All right. There we go. Have you found the pans yet? All right. Is this it? is probably optimal. Yep. I was just uh, seeing which stove he had turned on. That's the one in the bathroom. I think he had it right. He had it right and then just changed it and now has it wrong. Is it something smoking? Yeah. I don't feel like this is very hot. This should be hotter. All right, so just look for the burner that is smoking. That might be the one that's on. <laughs> there you go. So when I asked you just to double check the burners, you went and just Did turned the right one off and then okay. turned the wrong one on. We are now cooking with gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was on high. That thing's like was about to start a fire. We don't need to go Billy Joel. We didn't start the fire here. We don't think you should use that pan. Okay, well then what pan could we pick? Is there any other pan? Are there any other pans in here? Uh, I see some like cast iron stuff. Like Dutch I mean, that, it could be anywhere. It could be like pans. Other, other. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. You use one of these? Yeah, you could just use one of those. Just use one of those. Have you finished cooking these on this one, then we're gonna switch. I'm gonna err on the side of overcooking. Because nobody likes a frozen hot dog. Thinking I'm about to take these off. I think they're cooked enough. Think so. This Again. Is cold. Cold? Oh yeah. Take I'm a cold. bite. <laughs> cold. Oh, cold hey, what happened to the whole plan of overcooking? You had a whole plan of overcooking. Well, we 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 we'll, we'll, we gotta stick to the plan better. I'm getting rid of this fucking freaking glove. Maybe I'm a slow starter. So second inning, you know, you get through the tough first inning. You know, a lot of starting pitchers are like that. You know, you kind of. Just gotta get through the rough first inning and then you need to settle down. I think we have an ad for the Yak, but you don't have to say like any of the brands. You just have to explain what you're doing again. Can you do that for me? Cooking some Chicago dogs, it's opening day. As a proud Illinois resident. All right, I think, I think we've got an improvement, boys. These don't look unedible. I think we got some improvement here. Thank you. Vince, what was the strategy on these? Thank you. Let's cook them longer. All right, get cooking again. All right, another round? Yep. yep. Another round, fellas? <laughs> yep. Not hot. <laughs> Cook them even longer, Mincy. Cook them even longer. Good. What's up? So that's, that's the whole we got. We just got the one shooter now. Should I challenge this guy? He's 0 for 2 right now. It's starting to look good. It's starting to look good. Who are you shooting threes against? I'll go against Titus. That'd be fun. Walk into his show right now and challenge him. Is he here? He's here a lot. All right. After this wreck. After this wreck. Wow. All right, where's the office? I need I need some directions here. Yo. Hey, man, when are we getting a three-point contest? Oh, here? my God. Let's go. I'm not as young as you. Uh, we'll probably I, mean, do it. I gotta warm up. Oh, oh. We'll do it. I mean, I'm loose right now. Were you talking to Titus or are you talking to me? I gotta go through my warm-up routine, which is gonna take at least four hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. But I'll do it. He's talking. Yeah. He's back. Yeah, I mean, I have to do it. I am the Chili's three for me, three-point champion. I, I win, do I get the trophy? That's what everyone's asking, and I feel like... I don't know if it fits in here pretty good. God damn it, I'm gonna have to give Jack Golke my trophy, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You met Blubbin? I have not, no. Blubbin. What's up, my man? Hello. Nice I mean, we kind of met last night. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was same behind him the whole time. He was giving, he was telling me he's uh he used to be a college basketball aficionado. Yeah, former top five college basketball mind in the so game. How come he lost it? last season? Uh, I got into golf and tennis. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you know, I was a fan of Oakland back in the day. I, I used to have an Oakland sweatshirt. Really? I don't think anyone else here could say that. That's that's a real one right there. Mm -hmm. Back when I was in Vegas. Um, Appreciate that. That's love. We could also shoot from anywhere on the court. Except layups. I can't make layups. Yeah, layups are overrated. I can't make free throws either. Can I see a jumper? Oh, 
We're locked in. He said. No. No. Like that. There's no way. Uh, by the way, we have Jack Golke here. He's gonna. He, he has to head out in a minute, so we're gonna have him do the gauntlet now. Jack, you ready for the gauntlet? I'm excited. I'm. Uh, what's the record? Mine. Oh wow. What is it? One twenty-eight. I'm no, trying to get good. under under three. You have no frame of reference. Under, How would you, you do have no frame good. of reference? Well, I mean, someone told me four is solid. Okay. Yeah. So I'm four is actually get, not solid. I'm, three is solid. A three below. Three. Okay. Then I'm. What my you, goal then is is two thirty. Okay. Will you please just break the record? That's. We, I mean, you're the one person I'm very nervous about. Just break the record. All right. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, big scoop of bags. It's over. Uh -oh. It's done. Congrats, Big Cat. Uh -oh. Don't panic. Oh, my God. Oh, no, don't panic. Uh -oh. Get the bags. Help him. Help him what with I the bags. Help him with the bags. That's it. Oh. You can't do anything else. Oh. There we go. There we go. Oh. Ew. Oh, wow. What a Whoa. shot. All right. This is where he said he's going to be bad. Oh, no. Oh. I'd give up every sport to be as good at shooting threes. Yep. There oh, go. there it is. What do, like, 50-year-old wet dudes do? Here we go. Just get wet. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. He missed the three. Okay, okay there it is. <laughs> oh, four AFC West team. Chiefs, That's easy. Raiders, Chargers, Broncos. Mila Kunis. Anchorman? I don't know. You can get the Lakers. Uh, Worthy. Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, violin. Cello. One, one more. more. One, one more. more. O'Neal. Let me know me. Why? Yeah. yeah. 58. That was good. Yeah, yeah. Solid. Great time. That was a good time. I warned him about the cornhole board. He still dribbled it right off there. I should have warned him, which I forgot, was that these guys are not rooting for him. Like, they're rooting for him when they have Oakland money line. When they have times on the board that he's competing with, they're rooting against him. So, Brandon was not rebounding the football throws. These guys were chirping him when he was struggling with baseball against all odds, and it's still sub three minutes. Um, another impressive performance from Jack Oakey. All right, well, Jack, thank you for coming, dude. It's been an awesome yeah. day and a half. Yeah, whenever you're in Chicago, just come shoot yeah. threes with us. Much oh, yeah. appreciated. It's been yeah. a lot of yeah. fun, and thank you guys for having me. This yeah, nice all course. right, man. Jack Oakey. Appreciate it. Legend, Have a good one. March legend, new best friend. Under three minutes. I'm happy with it overall. Uh, as long as I, you know, I didn't want to get into the three, four minute territory, that would have been embarrassing. My goal on the soccer was tremendous. Bottom left corner, beautiful strike. My bags performance wasn't great. My wiffle ball performance, you could watch the film back, you'd know I didn't play wiffle ball or baseball in my entire life. Um, my football performance was okay. Threes, didn't shoot it great, got to the sporkle. I'm not gonna lie, I, I was a little frazzled. I didn't think I was gonna be. Couldn't even think of Lakers players, but Got it done in under three minutes, so I'm happy. How did it get cleaned up? We kind of just put it in boxes, moved it here, then we took those boxes, put them in a storage closet, didn't do anything with them, and now we need the storage closet. So this, a year later, is getting rid of the pile. That's a keeper. Very important stuff. This goes on the wall of Bortles. I mean, mini hockey, you never know, I feel like. This is a Marius chess. There actually might be money in this. What the fuck is this? Secret. Oh, actually, Rudy's probably the one that suffers from this the most. <laughs> For years, I realized that keeping my hockey bag in my apartment in New York was just ruining my life. So I would just move around the office and hide it like, <laughs> like it was Anne Frank. And Pete was... Like what? Is that the wrong person? <laughs> no, I mean, that's a, just a wild comparison. Who's Pete in this situation? Anyone want a Coors Light backpack? We got the failing upwards guy. I think I might just keep this for my own personal obsession. <laughs> How much money do you think we can make for these big cats and notes from part of my takes? Loser has to eat the difference in hot dogs every day for a week. Run for public office. Bit by a snake. Eat your weight in chicken wings. Complete a marathon with no training. Super Bowl week, you can only pay for things in pennies. This big cat's big list of ways to fuck with Max. <laughs> <laughs> that one would be way bigger than this. Oh, let me get those controllers. I want the Xbox one, I want the PlayStation one. <laughs> what size are you? These have been in here forever. These are like nice ass shoes though. Are they 12s? I mean, they're big cats. Yeah. These are he nice that, shoes that, that have been sitting in a bin that no one like. My problem with cleaning shit up is, like, is it, it very rapidly turns into me just finding stuff that I want again. I'm like, oh, look at these headphones. No, that's our closet. That's our closet. It's our pile closet. We can't do this. Wait, is this your doing? Yes. No, yes. Yeah, yes, yes and no. Yes, it is. And yes. Why <laughs> you have 12 of the same exact hat? They're sick. Dude. Like, if I find <laughs> another place for this, I'm not throwing these out. What if we just do the biggest Goodwill donation in history? We should go, we should make a museum. You can't tell a story of part of my take without all these hats. No. Don't throw these hats out. 
Okay, if that's happening, can my hockey gear go back in? No. Yes. No. <laughs> what if we need some hockey gear? Yeah, I have a lot of sticks. You can use whatever. When was the last time you took those that gear out? When 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 needed. When needed. When, when, needed. when needed. That's the thing is, you always think of like, oh, you never use this, like, but you could. Stay ready. You don't understand. Hey, yeah. my entire plan is to just keep piles until I die, and then someone else has to deal with it. Yeah, that's fine. This is okay, so don't throw any of this away. You yeah. can't throw away history. I don't know what, are you doing, are you part of this? I'm not, I'm not throwing anything away. I said, yeah, Hank, we'll organize it, we'll show you guys. Look at that, look at all the notes. This Hank just waits till like, hey, hey guys, it's March Madness week, probably the greatest week of the year. Let's just fucking crush PFT and Big Cat and make them do shit they don't want to do. This is Hank written all over. He likes to just kill us. It's gonna be a nice closet. I mean, upgrade. Yeah, this was my pile closet. Now our studio is going to turn into a pile. Correct. Yeah. We can put shit back in here once we set the room up. We're just taking out the stuff we don't need. Like we have shelving like, that's like going to be Like hockey gear. That's important. Yeah. What's going to go back here? Pile. There's going to be Hangers. Merch. Hangers. The whole reason we moved into this office was we finally had a room for our pile. The closet in New York got overflowed, so yeah. we're like, we have to move to Chicago where there's bigger closets. I just wanted to throw this away. Oh, keep that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't going anywhere. Hank is an imperialist. He's hockey. just coming and taking our land. You're whitewashing history. Yeah, right. This is You're an imperialist. You're terrible. I'm growing soil on our land and actually building off it. You're gentrifying our space. Yes. Yeah. He Hank's a yuppie. Yeah. Yuppie scum. No Be careful, Donnie. Oh, fuck. I Hank's in a mood. Dude, he's probably gonna come and take away all your shit in your kitchen. Yeah, he wants to take he's gonna, he's gonna be like, oh, Donnie doesn't need pans. Yeah, he's gonna walk into our studio and be like, you guys don't need these microphones. We gotta de declutter. I'll be honest, I didn't even know that room existed. I didn't even know my stuff was in there. I go in the closet all the time. Really? I live in the closet. We can, we can edit that. <laughs> I was closeted yesterday and then I came out. We can still use it. We're just cleaning. <laughs> Ever heard of spring cleaning? You'll thank me when it's done. Thank I you promise you I will not thank you when it's done. Inside, there will be a moment where you're like, damn. Listen. Big Cat said I can put the stuff back in there. I'm going back in there. And Squatter's right. I'm gonna have to get a forklift to get my ass out of there, dude. He wants to move me around, change the rent. Be like, oh, you're not using this space effectively? I thought this was America. They won't even notice it. I just don't want it in my apartment. I'll move it wherever I need to move in here. I'll just keep moving, dude. I'm like a fucking ghost. I'm gonna say, hey, he's the worst. He gets into his corporate mood. If he's not golfing, he's just bossing us around. That's what he does. Bullshit. Tries to take away all our fun. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Damn, that was a crazy ass episode, huh? Make sure you drop a like on the way out, guys. Have a great fucking day.